Want to send a shout out to one of my sponsors, MyBookie.ag, best internet gambling website there is, bar none. MyBookie.ag, click the link in the description box. You will not be disappointed. With boxing stock prospect Joey Spencer, what's good, Joey? Nine and zero, seven knockouts. Um, what makes you so good at putting away your opponent? Um, I just try to I try to look for the right um, time. It's all about timing. So um, you know, when I hit him with a good shot, I'm, I'm good at reading when my opponent's hurt, and I'm a good finisher. So um, when I hit my guy with a good shot and I see it on his face, I make sure I go in there and get it done. All right, you turned pro early. What made you not go to Olympic road? Um, you know, I, I think um, I had a deep amateur background and I fought you know, Team USA. I was able to go to the Olympic Training Center and see how things were looking over there. Um, I wasn't very impressed, you know. I wasn't very impressed with how things were ran. I, I did some international tournaments and I just, it was kind of a, it weren't running too tight of a ship. So uh, if I was going to risk my health and go in there and, and be fighting, I was going to do it to get paid and especially do it with people I trust, which is my team, not with the USA fans, you know. I mean, they had one great coach over there, which was Coach K. Groma. You know, he's the best thing they got going over in USA boxing. He's a fantastic coach, but um, not necessarily the coaching that I'm talking about. I'm talking about more just how things are ran with the higher-ups that, that make the decisions. You feel like politics plays a major role in the amateurs more so than the professionals? Um... No, I don't think it's more so. I think that just we have more control over the politics here in the pros. Okay. I think the amateurs have a lot of politics. The pros have a lot of politics, but I'm aligned with the right people. So when the politics cards fall, I'm gonna get the best of you know most you know most of the time. So, um, but in the amateurs, you know, you got Russia and all these big power you know powers that control things. And when you go to international tournaments, it's just. USA doesn't very doesn't really push their weight around too much. They kind of get manhandled. Are you happy with your progression as a professional so far? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with how everything's going. Um, they're, they're moving me well. I've had some great learning experiences last year, and um, here we are in 2020, and things are moving the way that we want them to move. How many fights do you have slated for 2020? I'm guessing four to five. Yeah, I had a four fight year last year. I could have any, anywhere from four to five. If I had four fights this year, then I'd be happy. Um, you know, that puts me where I want to be starting 2021, and uh, you know, it puts me in a real good position because 2021, I'm coming for all. Um, come for the belts. I like that, man. All right, so you get past this kid. What's next? Um, I probably April. I think that's what my management said. So I get done. You know, get right back in the gym, train, and wait for another opponent wait for another card, another opportunity, and then ramp up again and go back in and do my thing. My first fight ever seeing you, you fought I Came Black. Yo, that was a terrific performance. Y'all put on a great show, man. Oh, it was a fantastic fight. Definitely, he's a great fighter. You definitely made a fan out of me. Thank you.